Good evening, Jessica Van Vonderen with ABC News. It's being hailed as the birth of a new industry and a lucrative one at that. The world's first liquefied natural gas plant based on coal seam gas is now full steam ahead in Queensland. The UK-based BG Group has committed $15 billion to the project near Gladstone, which is expected to increase the state's total exports by 10%. The $15 billion project is set to produce one-third of Australia's LNG. It will deliver a huge boost to the Queensland economy, but also to the Australian economy. The federal government gave the final stamp of approval to the UK natural gas company BG Group to start phase one at Curtis Island near Gladstone. It's the company's single biggest investment in the world. Over the next four years... We will build the world's first liquefied natural gas plant to use coal seam gas as a feedstock. It includes a 500-kilometre underground pipeline and an expansion of production in the Surat Basin around Chinchilla in southern Queensland. The state's exports will be boosted by 10%. We estimate that the project will increase economic activity in Queensland by 32 billion Australian dollars. But it is a new industry for Australia in terms of export opportunities. It is a first. But the former pipeline dream does have some environmental issues. A state government report says the plant will produce 62,000 tonnes of salt per year. That's 1.8 million tonnes over the next 30 years. Environmentalists say the high saline levels could destroy the farming industry. It'll turn what used to be a vibrant food-producing area into an industrial wasteland over the next 30 years. But the Gladstone Council has welcomed the project. Lauren Cross, ABC News, Brisbane.